What shapes here? Everybody just out loud. What shapes did I draw? Rectangles. So I have a shape. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is, um, as a class, once I draw some lines in the shape, to identify what letter you see. Okay, so if you look at the lines only, it looks like a lowercase what? If you look at as a whole, it looks like an uppercase an A. Well, it's not an O. I'm just kidding. It, it's an A. So. Some of you focused on the lines, some of you focused on the entire shape. Okay, so it's an uppercase A. We look at a typical A, we have open negative space that touches, comes out from the bottom and something that's floating here, which is representing that, okay? If it were an H, okay, this would be open at the top and then the bottom, okay? So it would be like this, it's open, it's open. Okay, now um, I'm going to put some lines here. What letter is this? M. M. Okay, because we have this, it's open at the top, open at the bottom here, and that's centered. So we are not drawing lines inside of shapes. We want to draw small negative space shapes, so there's some open space there, in the position or placement of where you see these lines. So if I'm going to work on this A, I'm going to go through and draw a small square. If I need to shade this in because it's easier to see, then I can. Then I'm going to draw some negative space that's kind of open to the bottom. Okay, And if I fill this in, the negative space, it makes it easier for me to focus on this white space, which is a block letter A. So now, to become more creative, when you look at the placement of this, you can change the shape of the negative space. And then when you do that, it changes the style or look of the letter. And that's also known as fonts. So a lot of you will spend some time looking at the style of letters for papers because you want a certain font. Okay, it's a little bit more interesting. And like I said, and this is marker, so it's very dark, but if you just sketch this, <coughs> fill this in with pencil, kind of medium, not too dark. Um, if I made this too big, we're not supposed to have big areas of negative space. We want small. Eventually, you'll know the reason. Okay. But if it's too big, then all I need to do is flip my pencil over and then shrink this so I'm actually erasing the negative space, which is increasing the positive space, okay? So your eraser is a drawing tool to draw light space, and your pencil is a shading tool to draw dark space, okay? So you need to be able to flip back and forth. That's a really easy way to shrink the negative space, is just to erase some of it, okay? So your goal...